Hey guys, what's up? I am playing GM Kempinski, I think his name is. Obviously a strong player. I'm gonna go for my old school openings. I like I just play a 150 move game. And then I immediately have to play again. So unfair. I feel bad for my opponent because he was streaming too. He must have been going nuts in the stream. Like, that must have been not fun. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he should not have lost that night in game. I mean, all you have to do is sack the night for the pawn. It should be it should be pretty easy. But somehow, somehow things didn't work out. Alright, I'm pretty knowledgeable about this line. So let's just uh, play, just see what happens. Then the, I go queen a5, rook fc8, a6, stuff like that. And generally, black is doing okay. B3, A6, Knight, A4 is the main move. G4 is the main move. Uh, Rook F8 is not a move, but it's like my little, little tr a little pet line of mine. But usually, it just transposes to something else after eight, after he goes to H3. I think h3. I forget. I forget what white. Oh no, maybe knight c. I can't remember. My plan is, of course, f5. And I have some tricky idea somewhere. Uh, I just gotta remember. Does knight g f6 win a pawn? Let me think. I might just win a pawn. I remember there's like some tricks in this whole line. Uh, this rook f8 move can into in entice like bad moves. And I I think, I think I enticed him to make a bad move. But everyone else plays f5 there. I just, I just determined that rook f8 was the same thing, and any try that white makes to like do something different results in not good things. And some of them are a lot more complicated than this one. This one is obviously I'm just winning a pawn. But there's other moves where it's a, a lot more complicated. All right, I guess I'll take with the bishop, and then he goes e5, I take on e2, and right, let me calculate. Bishop g4, e5, pawn takes, pawn takes, rook check, king e1, bishop takes, bishop, pawn takes, knight, and it's a little risky, so maybe I should go knight g4. I don't know. Don't want to get involved in like too many complications right now. And bishop takes e5 definitely seemed definitely seemed complicated. All right, so now I can do I can actually do something weird and like I could even take on c3. And go knight f6. It's less weird than it looks. I'm gonna actually do that. And then knight f3. I gotta be careful of attacks, though, like being attacked. I don't know, maybe this wasn't the smartest thing to do. Gotta make sure f5 doesn't win ever. It's f5, oh, hold on, hold on. It's f5, knight e5? Probably. I just assume that's good for me. Alright. And next move, I was going to just move the bishop away, honestly, next move. But let me make sure. Yeah, whatever. Just bishop d7. And now I have a nice knight on. Oh, I didn't see that move. Hmm. Let's think of b4. I don't know what b4 does. Pawn takes, rook takes. I'm gonna just take it. Now it's a little weird. Rook F D eight maybe? I don't know. Uh, I spent a lot of time there, which I didn't. I wish I didn't do. Uh, 
If pawn takes a pawn, I'm thinking bishop c6, maybe? This puts my pieces in nice squares. I'm just going to do it. It's a blitz game. I've been thinking too long. Uh, and if... Okay, that's a good looking move. Seems like a oh, good start. And after he moves the rook away... I don't know. Oh wow, aggressive. Should I go a5, or activate my rook? I think so. Activate my a rook. Mm, is he threatening anything? I don't think so. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes his check. What's up? If he moves the king, I can probably take on b3. I mean, just the key is getting my... Whoa. I'm assuming this is okay for me. Let's see. Rook a3. Let's calculate. Rook a3. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Rook takes. Rook check. I, I think I'm winning. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. That's not winning. Let's just defend my thing. Should be five, maybe. <sighs> Whatever. Really? This guy's a pain in the ass, man. All right, let's go knight c six. Just end this, end this stupid nonsense with him taking my knight. Oh, I didn't see that. This guy, man, he's tricky! Very tricky. Alright, I'm gonna just give up that pawn. It's just too, too, too frustrating sitting there trying to defend it. But he's very tricky and now he's up on time, which is another big problem. Uh oh, uh oh. Did I blunder? Maybe. Maybe. Really? Jeez, man, I don't know what to do anymore. What the hell is that? Nobody knows. <laughs> uh, my moves are starting to get really bad, and I'm getting low on time. Wow, what a blown game this was. This, this is maybe going to be. What a disaster. I'll go to A8. Potential disaster in the making here. Uh, I have to... Did I have rook key 2 last move? Probably not. Mm. Guys, I don't know what to do. I think, I think e5 is good, but... You, you can do it. Don't know what the point of that move is. I just have no time left is the problem. I gotta start moving fast. Maybe I'll forget about time and lose, lose on time. Oops. I blundered. Oh, he blundered too. Uh I just loses obviously. Going for some mate. It's possible I'll get checkmated here. I'm the best player ever in chess history. I am the greatest player to have ever lived. It's official. Sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kemsky. But damn. Damn, that felt good. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what a horrible game. I, wow. Wow. I know what to say, man. I know what to say. Uh, I knew I had him. I had him where I wanted the whole time. I was crushing in the opening. I played really well in the opening, and then I played really badly, and then completely random luck to to win the game. So I got four to five. Uh, feeling good. Everyone watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Uh, YouTube uh, guys watching on Twitch, stick around.